I've been in Goa this trip since early Feb. I'm Kristen and this is Kimberly, my twin sister. She's visiting here from New York for two weeks. Yay. I'm working at the Sofala Hotel and we want to get into helping out the animals. And today we're at the treehouse for a primate trust and we're checking out to see what they're doing with the monkeys. Uh, he said that a lot of the monkeys don't like females, they prefer males, so we're, we're gonna hope we don't get attacked. Ah, and that's my little Hillary. Hillary, hello darling. Is she and named after Hillary Clinton? No, no, no. That's Chives, a little Chivey. Um, he is now a fully grown mature monkey, a male, and he, w he would attack you. <laughs> They always dunk their biscuits in a bowl of water. Really? Yeah, it's really funny, yeah. We've got 39 at the moment. They stay here for the rest of their lives. The forestry department bring them to us when they've been, their mothers have been killed on the road. Um, we, it's illegal to have monkeys as pets in India, and so if we find someone who's got a pet monkey, we confiscate it. Um, and there's also road accidents which come in. And the majority have been brought to us as babies. No, 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 no. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Crap all over. Go on, go on, in. Great. Right. You never hang a monkey with a shirt. She's a darling to me, I can do anything more. But I have to be so careful with my staff because if they've got her on a lead and she sees me, yeah. she just turns on me. Listen to me. Hey, monkey, what's your name? Clean, cut, and you put them in the house. You put them in the house. Those two, they still sleep in my wife's bed, but they're just, because they're a year old, they're being introduced to the outside pens any day now is going to be their first night out, which is, I don't know who's more stressed, us or the monkeys, at the thought of them sleeping out there. Do they get too big at some point or push you well, out of bed? Well, the big problem with those is that when they're crashing around the bedroom, they're so big now that, you know, um, we're always worried that they, they jump against the glass and they're going to break the window. That's <laughs> They get taken upstairs at nine o'clock, they have their bottle and they both immediately just settle down and go to sleep. And they cuddle each other um, and sleep right next to my wife. And then wake up in the morning and then they, they don't wander around? Yeah, well the funny thing is, is that they hate getting up in the morning. I'm always up at 5.30 and I go upstairs at six o'clock to get them. And they're in denial. And no, 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 it's not morning, you can't get up yet, you know. <laughs> Pixie, um, was bottled reared in our bed, and he was our little baby. And what, what langurs do what to greet you is they jump at you and they put their hands around your neck and then they hug you and they lay back, they laugh at you and then they hug you. And he was doing that, and suddenly he leant back and his expression changed. And I knew instantly that he was about to attack. And he leapt at me and just bit me in the cheek. But if I hadn't seen that sign, he would have bit the cheek. What made him hurt like that? Because they get to a stage where they want to take over the alpha male. And just got to that stage and he decided that was the moment to kill you. If he got to you, the first thing he would do is kick you in the ribs and he'd just cave your ribs off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they did a thing on Animal Planet where they have pressure pads measuring who's got the strongest kick. And they've got a stronger kick than the kangaroo. Um, I mean, I used to run the dangerous dog section in the army and so I'm chewed up badly. But the worst bite I ever had was by a you know, female that I brought here. She was very timid and she was on the floor and I was tempting her to come to me for the first time. She came up, got on my lap, and then just lunged at me and she bit me through the inside of the mouth and through here. 
and just clamped down my mouth just exploded with blood and she just sat there holding it and I had to just stroke her and say, oh good girl good girl because if she pulled away I would have lost her and then, um, and then she let go climbed around onto me and started grooming me and from that moment on I could do anything with her and she absolutely worshipped me The, the whole of my estate in this country and in the UK is being left to the Primate Trust in order that when my wife and I die, um, we can build a world-class primate rescue centre here in India. The idea is to get them back as close to nature as we possibly can. I hate seeing them in cages. Without, without any doubt at all, Dennis is certainly the naughtiest, most uncontrollable baby we've ever had. You're a horrible one, basically. Hey, Dennis, you're a monster. Dennis, you're a monster. You're a monster. You're a monster. We learned a lot about what John does at the Primate Trust, and we saw some monkeys and were introduced to Dennis, the naughtiest monkey in the treehouse. And yeah, looking forward to.